I'm Magicbox. Today, an interesting video came up. Why the first descendant and other Korean games have so many microtransactions? I think the answer, but probably I am wrong, is because people are ready to pay money. People are paying money. If people wouldn't pay money, the this kind of thing wouldn't exist. That's why EA games exist. And how they exist is the reason, in my opinion, because people still are playing the games and people still are paying money for it. So if you've been playing The First Descendant, you know, that one game with the really good storylines and plot? It's a third-person co-op looter shooter that's got pretty standard mechanics for the genre, so it's a fine game. It's built off Unreal Engine 5, so it's a gorgeous looking game with incredible graphics. But a lot of people are feeling pretty mixed about the microtransactions and the fact that the store is priced so high for a free to play game. And since the game is a looter shooter, it's only PVE, so the items you can purchase aren't anything that could be considered pay to win. However, you can definitely- In, in PVE game, unless it's built uh, to grindy, buying stuff that, in my opinion, buying stuff from the shop only destroys your, your enjoyment of the game. I think so. If the game is too grindy, I don't know the limit of that, but still, it can be felt if uh, if grinding is not enjoyable it's too long to achieve something and that's on purpose that's on purpose that's the reason mm. really purchase items that will help you progress through the game faster with xp boosts if you're able to purchase a premium battle pass characters character and weapon skins and increased inventory capacity the in-game currency is unfortunate i'm okay with that if that is achievable without a lot and a lot of grinding in the game, I'm okay with that. But only if that is achievable without excessive grind. Definitely only attainable through buying it with real life money. You can't earn it through playing the game itself. However, you can grind to earn new characters, but it takes a really long time. There was a Steam review that said the first Descendant released with more real money purchasable items than actual gameplay mechanics. I know we're all pretty used to games that are free to play usually bringing about a lot money. A lot of purchasable items in the game, but I've noticed that a lot of Korean games have always had microtransactions in them. Specifically, a lot of Korean role-playing games have a ton of microtransactions. Mobile games. People Still playing those. RPGs are the most common games to have microtransactions for skins, XP boosts, and whatever else you might need in them, and Korea has been utilizing the system for a lot longer than some people remember. But why? Why are so many Korean games dumb? I know the answer, but I'm probably wrong. Because they're still paying for it. Koreans are excessively buying these things. They're really really into things like that and if there are po there is possibility of um, player trading especially in those cases if there is a possibility of player trading and you can make money of that i think koreans are very famous for that no 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 yes L look at lost ark Dominated in microtransactions and oddly predatory items. Good question. Let's dive into that. Remember MapleStory? That adorable free-to-play MMORPG that released in the US May 2005? That was created by Wizet, another Korean developer that initiated the discussion around microtransactions because its users weren't just in Korea, but also now in North America. The five best-selling games in the United States at this time were Madden NFL 06, Pokemon Emerald, Nintendogs, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Gran Turismo 4. None of these games had microtransactions, and instead they were just buy and play full games. 
However, World of Warcraft was the eighth best selling game in the US that year after it launched in late 2004. So MapleStory and World of Warcraft are arguably the same genre. So you could compare how each did to the other around the 2005 to 2006 era when no other games were introducing microtransactions like these two were. World of Warcraft launched with the requirement of needing a subscription fee to play, while MapleStory was completely free to download and play, but allowed players to buy in-game cosmetics and enhancements with real money. MapleStory was the first real Korean game to break through to a Western audience, and thus introduced new aspects of how business could be done with gaming. MapleStory featured cosmetic items for sale, but also XP boosts, pets, inventory slots, and drop coupons, which would allow you to roll loot boxes for random items. This was the introduction of RNG and loot boxes to the gaming world that ended up- Oh, such a bad time. I hate loot boxes. I hate the idea that this exists, RNG. If I you buy for real money uh, loot boxes, you're an idiot. Because you're paying money for things that are not worth it. And you buy that you're not gar guaranteed to get stuff that you want. It's another l layer, another mm, another name to scam, in my opinion. You can, uh, it's every everybody already talked about loot boxes. I don't think that I need to do that. I hate them. Stop taking off quite abruptly. That all started in two thousand five. And. St Pay for convenience, uh, the, 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 I'm forgetting words, too much sugar in me, I ate two sticks of ice cream, uh, convenience, uh, the, the, mm, warehouse space, inventory space, let me get that without paying money. In the game, in games. Uh, we get uh, the possibility to buy those things. Please give the possibility to get uh, with grinding. It can be. Five and has just shut up. On. Wait a minute. I'm always in these videos say what game developers could do to make it better, but s nothing will change, and I know that. But I still want it because there are people who are paying m money for it. Nonsense, I'm ranting. So microtransactions have ruled multiplayer games in Korea for quite some time. But why do Korean developers choose to go the microtransaction route so aggressively? I mean, if something brought in a ton of money for you, Same. wouldn't you stick with it? Back Come in 2006, on. Pearl Research released a games market in Korea report and revealed that microtransactions made up for at least 50% of South Korea's $1 billion online games market. That was back in 2006 when microtransactions were- 50 fucking percent! I thought more. I expected more. But still, 50 fucking percent, that's half of money that they are getting. Jesus. We're only just blossoming, but Korea had already gotten its formula down. Whether or not these microtransactions bring in money from the Western audience really doesn't matter. They know they have their core audience down and can depend on their money being spent on in-game items. I really believe this is why Korean MMOs don't survive well in North America. Black Desert Online was fine, but people realized how grindy the game was and how predatory the microtransactions seemed because it really felt like you had no choice but to purchase items to help you get through the game easier. Lost Ark is another example of things like this failure in North America, but why do these games seem to Did Black Desert fail in uh, West? Uh, Wester? Uh, wait, 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 West? I don't think so. People uh, uh, I heard love uh, Black Desert. I have problems with that game, but the, the, I didn't play that much, but still. To fail elsewhere. I think we have to go and look back at South Korea's gaming culture. PC bangs or PC cafes were really just rooms of PCs you could rent for however long to do whatever you needed with them. But PC bangs entering gaming culture really left off in 1998 when Blizzard StarCraft captured Korean players' interests. 
PC Bungs then became LAN centers and specialized gaming rooms that people could come to just to play games they couldn't for not owning a desktop at home. PC Bungs were also an interesting source of socialization because you knew most of the people in that room were gamers. Couldn't you just... Uh... Take the money that you spend on uh, those cafes and just, I don't know, maybe just collect all that money through the years and just buy PC later, be patient, work your ass off, maybe? No? I'm just privileged, middle-aged asshole and they were, for the most part, likely there for the same thing you were. However, this culture becoming so popular so quickly, just as high-speed internet was also spreading worldwide, wasn't exactly the best thing for gamers in Korea. According to Statista, 92% of Koreans use the internet. In 2002, the rate was 59.4% of the people in the country versus in 2004, were jumped up to 70.2%. To put this further into perspective, 71% of the population played video games in 2021. There's something to be said about a culture having access to the internet and technology so early that it feeds these players not necessarily in a good way. Internet Gaming Disorder, or IGD- I still think that uh, people in my country use internet uh, without... Uh... I forgot what was I trying to say. I was interrupted. But that was pleasant interruption. The population played video games in 2021. There's something to be said about a culture having access to the internet and technology so early that it feeds these players not necessarily in a good way. Internet gaming disorder or... I, I remember. I still think people are using internet very, very stupidly. I don't remember the word in English, but... Um, Ah, uh, I will, maybe I will, I'll try to remember. Um, stupidly, stupidly, uh, irresponsibly. Because internet is a public landfill. Everybody puts everything without any control on it. And people should have responsibility to uh, uh, to invest the time to filter or at least try to filter it and people don't do that opinions ideas everything that is written is not filtered by critical mind because most people i don't want to say it but still people it seems like people don't have a critical thought. They don't filter information. Uh, what they they don't think about the information that they read on internet critically. IGD is an established condition that's officially recognized by the World Health Organization. A lot of Asian countries have more people who suffer from IGD than others, and the American Psychiatric Association found that when these people play internet games, no parental control in my opinion, certain pathways in their brains are triggered in the same direct and intense way that a drug addict's brain is affected by taking drugs. <laughs> South Korea has had many reports of gamers failing to take care of themselves, and sometimes even dying when refusing to get up from a game to take a break. BBC reported in August 2005 on a 28-year-old Korean man who collapsed in a PC bung after playing 50 hours of StarCraft, and his death was deemed heart failure from exhaustion. In 2010, CNN reported on a Korean couple who neglected their infant daughter to keep playing games, specifically Prius Online, that... Sick fucks. But that happens when parents don't talk to their kids. I mean, their parents should work, should do something with the kids so they won't grow up and be like that. That's uh, trying to escape real life. They're not, in my opinion, we have a lot of problems with mental illness in the world. No balance in life. No work-life balance, no um, 
things that I must do and things that I want to do. Be uh, between these things, there are there is no balance in people's lives. That's a big problem. That's a very growing problem, in my opinion. And kids these days, we will see a vi in 10, 15 years, we will uh, have uh, a lot of problems with uh, physically and mentally ill kids. When uh, those problems, we will see those problems when they will, uh, when they are grown ups, because these kids are right now in, uh, somewhere between ten and fifteen years old, and uh, in a, uh, parents of my generation, I mean, uh, parents that are uh, are my age that are growing kids, they, I think, they will. Fuck it up. Most of them uh, will 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 uh, destroy their kids because kids these days to parents are not the priority. It's a priority to go to parties to 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 uh, neg. <laughs> it's a priority to do everything but not to take care of your child. Ironically enough, required players to raise a magical girl. Their daughter died due to lack of food or attention. The games that dominated Korea for so long were games that required a lot of attention. Incarcerate those parents. Attention for long spans of time. Think about StarCraft, MapleStory, or any other MMORPG. Psychologist Professor Mark Griffiths, author of several online gambling and gambling edition studies, stated that people liked playing MMORPGs for such long durations due to the social aspects. Griffiths said, quote, They are the types of games that completely engross the player. They I pre-watched this video. Looks like it. Not games you can play for 20 minutes and stop. If you're going to take it seriously, you have to spend time doing it. Korea is aware of the issues surrounding gaming and addictions, and in 2011, the Cinderella Law was passed that required games to add automatic shutdowns for children 15 or younger after midnight. While Korea definitely wants to tackle the issues of addiction and prevent people from hurting themselves or others while gaming, the bigger issue is just how much gaming has become a part of the culture. Video games are one of the biggest money makers for the country. In my opinion, that's not, that, that's not the way. The government shouldn't mandate these things. Government shouldn't say what people in this situation should do and should not do. This thing uh, for kids, this thing should be done by parents. Because this is parents' responsibility to grow a decent human being, not governments. Government will we will we would have a communism in my opinion. I'm against that. Because problem one of the problems with ideas like that, we uh and we uh, in my opinion have this problem in Europe, we are giving uh not the education, what's the word? Uh... I will say it differently. Uh, making, uh, we put responsibility of making uh, uh, children into decent human beings. We put that responsibility to governmental organizations, to governmental institutions. That's not very... That, in my opinion, that doesn't really work, and history shows that perfectly. Uh, I think uh, parents should work with their kids, talk with their kids. If, if the, for fuck's sake, if they have uh, social problems, uh, work with them, talk with them. Maybe you could do something with that. Just, mm, I see a lot, uh, in my surroundings, I see a lot of problems that uh, uh, parents are neglecting when they are uh, engaging with their kids, if they are engaging in any activity.
at least watch cartoons together. That's fun. That should be fun. And it's only expanding with Korea becoming the largest producer of mobile games that utilizes the free to play microtransaction model. According to Statista, the mobile gaming market in Korea is a little under $7 billion, and over 50% of Korea's population plays mobile games. I'm not trying to demonize developers, but when you see a monetization model that works and generates billions of income, you're bound to stick with it, especially when you know your audience is susceptible to spending tons of money in your games. Yes, they're making games like that because it works and the PC or AAA developers, uh, PC console developers are... Uh, doing the same thing because it's gener it generates money and people are still paying money if somebody will if you stop paying money for microtransactions all all time uh, and 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 uh, overpriced games this could stop but no there are still people who are paying money for it so why they should stop I wouldn't stop if that makes money. Why I should stop? Moral? Who cares about morals? Gaming has always been huge in Korea and microtransactions have been present just as long. Most Korean gamers do not care about the costs and just want the serotonin that comes from leveling a max character or even just playing games to escape real life. So microtransactions really don't mean a lot in Korea. It's not exactly the most uplifting thing to hear, but Korea is taking steps in trying to combat video game addictions. As for microtransactions, there was actually a game industry act passed by the National Assembly. Yeah, last time in the West, some uh, somebody from the government uh, government tried to do something. They called uh, uh, games uh, make people violent. How the fuck this is a smart idea when we are talking about that people are trying to escape reality? That doesn't make people violent. That uh, lets people to relax a little bit, even going on the rampage in GTA. GTA. Assembly in Korea in March 2023 that defines loot boxes and requires the game developers, distributors, and service providers to detail the type of loot boxes and information on the odds and probabilities of getting items publicly and easily seen. There are new laws being implemented to try and protect the people who are susceptible to buying more transactions in games, slowly but surely. As for the first descendant, I think the microtransactions are definitely weird and overpriced, but they're not necessary by any means. Sure, some items can be bought to minimize the grind, but it's PvE, so really who gives a shit? Thanks for watching. Me. If the grind is too big, if I need if I need to grind for a week uh to get some kind of cos uh, cosmetic item or, or or any item that helps me to level up or grind level too long to take too long let's use the uh, same uh, words uh to get uh, that uh, boost of accomplishment that serotonin people won't get that and they will pay for it People will pay you for microtransactions, or people will stop playing the fucking game. Nobody should concern themselves if uh, PvE or single-player game has, uh, has microtransactions. The game will become, in my opinion, too grindy. There will be some kind of dailies, shitties, uh, whatever, uh, make the game faster, pay money to make game go faster. And uh, without it, uh, the game will become mobile game, where without putting any cash in the game, you can't progress. Even a sing in a single player game. Where's the fun in that where I cannot progress with the character or or in level because I'm too weak or 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 I don't have some kind of item to progress where I could pay 10 bucks or whatever to progress or uh, buy uh, a I don't know um, uh, 
buy 100 bucks for uh, early early access or whatever uh, to get game earlier with some kind of benefits in game saying that it's a pve so who gives a shit about microtransactions? It's I hate people like that. It's such a bullshit. It started with mobile games. It uh, went to uh, other co-op or PV, uh, PvP games, uh, MMOs, and now we uh, we are getting the same treatment for single player or PVE games. This is such a bullshit. PVE. I understand people are destroy, destroying uh, their experience in uh, such games when they buy something. But uh, developers are incentivized to uh, create games that are too grindy, uh, it's hard to progress, uh, and with each game, with the, each part of the game, with each, let's say, update, if it's... Uh, um, uh, live service game each time the game becomes more difficult to make people buy stuff pay money for stuff for convenience for more storage space for more i don't know skill slots for all types of shit each time each generation of games going to shitter we we have what one or two good games that are uh, uh fun to play that are uh, has uh, uh great system great story or something and without no uh, no microtransaction look at the elden ring it's a hard game no microtransaction we have paid dlc that is uh another game on itself and it's worked from the beginning no first day patch no nothing maybe a little bit pro a little bit of problems uh, with 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 uh, online play maybe but still it's a great game boulders gate who would have thought that game can work from the start and it can make a a game where your choices have consequences and your choice means something without microtransactions what in Baldur's gate microtransactions for luck for rolls what's next in tabletop games dnd uh, in magica or whatever we pay uh, subscriptions and and, and we pay money to get a uh, die without one natural one natural two removing uh, or making some of the bigger numbers uh, go twice for example two threes uh, whatever in a d20 for example we're, that's an absurd idea but i think we are going in the in that direction Holy moly. That's that's the future. We pay for D20s. That when I swipe uh, uh, natural one becomes a a a a, a natural uh, I don't know, two. When I swipe second time two be uh, all of twos on the die become uh, threes. And so on. If I pay a thousand bucks for a D20, everything will become natural 20 or I don't know, whatever damage roll. We have a bleak future if if nuclear war or AI and terminators won't destroy us, we will have a lot of microtransactions on our hands. Jesus. Holy moly. That went very dark. So let's finish the video. And if someone you know is struggling with addiction, call 1-800-GAMBLER for the National Problem Gambling Helpline. Yes, Thanks do for listening that. and I'll see you in the next one. Do that. Okay, thank you. Holy moly.
this video took me to a dark place. Post-apocalyptic microtransaction <laughs> shit. We will fight for freedom of I don't know. Um, to play free games, to own the game. Holy moly! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for this video. Uh, I press a like for this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy this rant. I hate microtransactions. I don't think it's it's it should exist, even if you have money. Saying that. Uh, working hour uh, on working hours i make a lot of money and i can't spend whatever i want fuck you this should be a game or game mode if you swipe you get to that game mode where everybody swipes if 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 i don't uh, i don't swipe i don't play with others who swipe pve pvp whatever if i get everything by playing the game I play with people that are like that. The same thing goes with cheating. Jesus. Whales and cheaters. Fucking pitiful race. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I'm now... Uh, from sad and depressed... Become, uh, uh, starting to become angry. Great, thanks. Too much sugar, probably. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Matchbox. Uh, I probably will crash soon from sugar. And I hope to see you soon in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.